What's up, everybody? Today is Wednesday, October 25th, 2023. I'm David Delano here with winnersandwiners.com. We're going to give out three free picks here for the first full opening night of games in the NBA season. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Get Sports Strong. You can also follow us here on this YouTube channel and Winners and Winers on Twitter as well, along with on TikTok where Mason Foles is over there giving out free picks. Mason and myself are also giving out premium picks along with our team of handicappers. And you can check that out on the experts section on the Winners and Winers page. Some days uh, more of the experts than others. But 4-1 uh, and one yesterday overall. Went 1-1 one and one in the NBA. Hit our hockey play, college football play, and our major league baseball play yesterday. So um, you can check that out. Or if you want to read the free pick articles, winnersandwiners.com, statsalt.com. You can read articles, uh, free predictions on the side in total. All right, let's go ahead and get into this for today here. Uh, three picks here. First two are going to be props, and then we're going to get into a side play. Our uh, first two picks here are going to be in the game between the Indiana Pacers and the Washington Wizards. Right now we've got a total of 235, and the Pacers are a five-and-a-half point favorite. Uh, first prop that I like in this game, I'm going to go ahead and back Buddy Hill. All of these odds, by the way, are going to be courtesy of DraftKings. And if you have not already, you can sign up for DraftKings over at Winners and Winers backslash betting or on the DraftKings link in the description. But I'm going to take Buddy Hill to get over 11 and a half points in this game, minus 110 odds on DraftKings. Um, Hill, I understand Bruce Brown's over there in Indiana now, so should uh, you know, it's going to not, it's expected to reduce his minutes a little bit. But um, this is a guy that averaged uh, 21.3 points per game in four contests against the Wizards last season. Uh, second best amongst all teams, other teams that uh, Buddy Hill faced. This is a guy that's also averaged at least 13.5 points per game, which is on the low side, but at least 13.5 points per game in the least eight, last eight years of his career. Only season where he didn't was as a rookie. And uh, he's going to have the green light to uh, fire up a lot of threes. He averaged at least 10 threes a game against the Wizards last season. Even in the preseason last few games, not a lot of minutes. Last time he played in the preseason, last preseason game against the Cavs, he only played 18 minutes, but he had 20 points as he fired up uh, 10 shot attempts and eight threes. The game before that fired up nine threes. I like Buddy Hill to get over 11 and a half points in what should probably be a high scoring game. So that's going to be the first pick. Next one here, a little bit of a more popular one, but I'm going to go ahead and back Jordan Poole to get 24 to get over 24 and a half points. That's going to be minus 120 on DraftKings. Actually, if you do a same game parlay, which DraftKings is always promoting, plus 265 odds if you go with um, over Buddy Hill over 11 and a half and Jordan Poole to get over um, 24 and a half. Yeah, it's been heavily publicized, obviously, that he had that 41-point uh, game in the preseason against the New York Knicks, which he uh, backed up with only a 7-point performance on 1-for-15 shooting in the next game out. But the point is, you know, Jordan Poole is going to have the green light to fire up a lot of shots. That 1-for-15 effort came in only 20 minutes. And overall in the preseason, Jordan Poole averaged just over – uh, 22 minutes per game and an eight and a half three point shot attempt. So Jordan Poole, may, I mean, 25 to 30 shot attempts in this game would not shock me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go over 24 and a half points for Jordan Poole. That's going to be the second free pick here. And um, finally, last but not least, we're going to look at the game between the Dallas Mavericks and the San Antonio Spurs. I'm going to be brief with this one. Mavs, now they've won nine out of their last 11 games against the Spurs straight up. Dallas, San Antonio, not a whole lot of distance. First game of the season. Don't think that the home court advantage is going to be a huge deal. I do know that the crowd is going to be excited for uh, Victor Wembanyama, but you know also that should give the Mavericks some extra motivation to be playing a, a San Antonio team that they usually fare well against anyway. I do expect Luka to play, but to be honest with you, I like the Mavs even if Luka does not play in this game. I'm going to back the Mavs minus the three and a half. As I mentioned, 9-2 and two straight up against the Spurs in the last 11, with seven of those wins coming by five points or more. So your three free picks for today. You've got Buddy Heald for the Indiana Pacers to go over 11.5 points. Jordan Poole for the Washington Wizards to go over 24.5 points. And the Dallas Mavericks to cover the 3.5 against the San Antonio Spurs. 
Let me know what your favorite plays and props are for today. If you hate these props, that's fine. You can let me know. If you like them, that's fine. And also feel free to uh, sprinkle in your comments and your plays before the game starts. Always respect those even when they're wrong. After the game starts, we all know nobody really cares at that point. But God bless. Good luck. Let's have a great day.